Hey Hello guys. guys! Welcome back to our video. So this video is a follow on from the video that we did last week which is where I'm going to cook Italian meals for one week. So last video I showed you all the ingredients that we had and our plan mm. and this video is me cooking it for Ricardo. So it's five meals I made this week. So that's pretty much all there is to say in this video. Is she going to be up to the task? Yeah. We shall see. So what we'll do is we'll go on to day one and then we'll just carry on from there. Today, everybody, is the first day. It's day number one, night number one, meal number one, everything number one. We are going to be making, the ingredients first are basil. I've got passata. That is basil. Passata, <laughs> mozzarella, which um, I've already taken out the thing, so I'm not gonna pick that up. It's already, it's just over there. I've got garlic one clove of garlic and gnocchi because gnocchi's up there and I haven't got it out yet. Any guesses? Ricardo? Can I, can I guess? Yes. Mozzarella and carota. Well that's not what it's name on this here. What? It's called gnocchi alla sorrentina. So yeah that's what I'm going to be making and yes I am cheating because I'm not making the gnocchi I've just bought it saving on time because that saves literally like 40 minutes so doing it. Bring that. Ah! Okay, first steps are to get a new handle. <laughs> this is all wobbly. like what I have first and then see if you can guess what it is. So I've got potatoes, shallot, which is one, I think that's how you say it, shallot, shallot, pasta, 250 grams, so 250 grams of pasta. I've got rosemary and thyme, black pepper and salt and oil. The meal that I'm making today is pasta e patate. <laughs> would have guessed, would you? taken me ages. It probably hasn't but I feel like I've been stood here for 40 minutes. But I do think I've been stood here for half an hour which is what the recipe says. The recipe does say half an hour. This has been too long for me. I need something that's like 15 minutes or something where you don't have to stand here and watch it. So I'm just going to put this in here. Time for the verdict of Riccardi. It's killing me! <laughs> hmm. Tasty. Tasty. Simple. Well done. It's it's I feel like it's taken me ages. This is really cheap though. I know. Really cheap. We should make this more often. Mm. I've tried it already. <laughs> Behind the camera. It's that good, means. but just cook a little bit more of the potatoes. Oh, they took ages. I got bored. They took oh. so long. It says 20 minutes. It's literally been like half an hour. They just took so long. Maybe I should put more water with them to start with. Anyway, this is day two done. Success! It is now officially day three. So it's meal number three. 
So I'm going to show you the ingredients that I've got for this one and then see if you can guess it before I tell you what it is, what I'm making. I've got everything ready because I'm prepared like that, so you don't see me preparing it. Courgettes, parmesan, onions, butter, five leaves of mint. Mint leaves? Mint leaves. A hundred millilitres of wine. White wine. Um, risotto rice. So, any guesses on what I'm making? I'm making risotto con zucchine. Uh, scamorza. Oh, oh, I missed that bit. Don't know what that is. number four so the ingredients that I have for you today can you guess what they are again um, so there is one I'm so sorry I forgot to say in the previous video where I'm telling you all the ingredients I forgot about this one um, so we've got chickpeas bacon carrot celery onion tomato sauce like the passata 50 mils of wine 320 grams of pasta so that is the ingredients so any guesses so it's pasta e ceci <laughs> arrived the last day yes it's gonna be really easy as soon as i tell you this one thing tomatoes onions that's pretty much it come on a big dead giveaway so it's risotto al pomodoro also of course i've got parmesan cheese let's crack on with the last and final day of me making italian food so i have enjoyed making the italian food but one thing that i have found difficult is cooking or filming and multitasking because it does like drag out the time that it takes me to cook but i'm glad i'm making entertainment for you and i'm glad it is my last day <laughs> first my phone needs to turn around so i can actually see what i want to do oh I definitely did not click on that. So I'm currently cooking the onions on the fire. Don't want to burn them, it says. You want them to be transparent. You have to put in the rice, one litre of vegetable broth, and then I'll put the pomodorini, and then mix it. Mix it good, it says. Mix it good. Then I just got to leave it and put salt in, just to salt it, I guess. I like this recipe. This is a good recipe. I mean, how cheap is this? I'm going to be doing this every day. I like, I really, really like rice as well. That's one thing. I discovered, rediscovered, that I really like rice. It just feels really like refreshing and savory. In the comments down below, I want you to let me know which one of these five meals has been your favorite, which one you've cooked, if you think it looked rubbish or really good, because it better have looked really good, because if it looked rubbish, then I'm quitting. I'm quitting, I'm not gonna be a chef. Not that I'm gonna be a chef anyway. Is it me or does this olive oil look like a really weird dark colour? I don't know if you can see that, but that's pretty much what you're seeing there. It's pretty much what the colour is. It's a really weird dark colour. It's a new one that we've got from Lidl. I don't know if it's any good. It says it's in Italy, like made from Italy. Made in Italy. 
So hopefully it's going to be a good one because that's a really weird colour. I've just chucked the tomatoes in. I didn't know if I was meant to squash them before I chucked them in. I just threw them in. So I think I'm just going to start squashing them now anyway because they look a bit funny. They probably will shrivel up. But just in case they don't shrivel up, I'm just going to squash them with a fork. I should read the recipe. Ricardo, it's the last one. The last one. The last melon. Why is the last... Oh. The last <laughs> <page>. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. This is a spoon over a spoon. The spoon. New spoon. <laughs> you know, like orange is the new black, the fork is exactly. the new spoon. That looks <gasps> delicious. Okay, so with this one, I think I pretty much just made it up. I couldn't be bothered to follow the recipe. Really? Well, I kind of followed the recipe and then I got bored and couldn't be bothered to read it. So, what? <laughs> yeah, try it. Tastes good. <laughs> Reminds me of home. I know it's good. Jeez. I know it's good. Jeez. <laughs> you made all this dishes. Besides the fact that you just made rice the whole time. No, this is only the second rice. It's the third. It's the second rice. Third. The third wasn't part of this video. The third was last week and it was just a one night made. Okay, fine. So we have finished this video. Finally. We've come to an end. But now, next week is going to be me doing the English week where I cook English and Coral cleans. It's, it's going to be interesting. So stay tuned for the English week. And we'll see you in that English week and before then as well, of course. Yeah, Bye. obviously. Bye.